Okay, the Detroit Lions sign another free agent corner. We knew this was going to be a point of emphasis this offseason, and the Lions are really going after it. Day one, they signed or they traded for Carlton Davis, and then today they sign a quarter, corner, and I really like it. Now, don't forget that the Lions are adding depth and just revamping the cornerback position because remember we had Vildor we had Jerry Jacobs we had Sutton who just really struggled the second half of the season I mean Sutton the first half of the season you never heard his name called he was just a playing great then the next thing you know he's getting thrashed up and down the field so they want to provide some depth some competition and, and really find somebody so what they did today was let's take a look at it they get a Meek Robertson a two-year about ten million or nine million dollar deal, and this is a guy that's was drafted in twenty twenty. So he he played out his first contract with the Raiders, and it's a guy the first two seasons he didn't really play much, and then the next two seasons, these last two, he's played a ton of football, four interceptions, and really like just kind of that veteran guys played type of thing, right? Versus we're gonna because we know we're gonna draft some guys, but it feels like the cornerback position. Let let's get some veteran talent in there so we have Sutton Carlton Davis and Amik Robertson that we just picked up because we know Emmanuel Mosley is not going to be ready at the start of the season CJ Gardner Johnson won't be I don't think we're going to pick him back up so you've got Brian Branch now the big thing about Amik Robertson is that he can play inside or outside and this is right here he can play outside and in the slot he's done that so you really get some some backup possibly um, snaps behind Brian Branch if needed, but he can play the outside, right? So let's see who kind of emerges between the three that we have now. Plus, we know we're going to draft somebody. So there's our four corners that the Lions are going to roll with this year. Um, unless some weird trade or something happens, it's just kind of clear that the Lions have decided to go, man, a little more economical at the cornerback position. And Here's what we keep talking about. We know we want to get aggressive in certain spots, especially at corner seems like one. Defensive tackle still out there. Um, interior offensive line. but And we have the cap space, but but we really don't. And what, I, what we keep talking about that is like Goff's going to be due. Amon Ross St. Brown, Panay Sewell, Hutch. I mean, the good news is we have so many players that are going to get paid because they're so good. Brad Holmes has done such a good job drafting them so keep that in the in the back of your mind so we can't just go out crazy spend instead the lions have opted to kind of go this route which hey it's fine so he's 5'8 187 pounds and let me know in the comments i mean does it like realistic like within reason does this feel like hey we've we've <laughs> we've shored this up enough i feel a lot better than what we had last year with jerry jacobs and vildor now we've got a starting cornerback from the Bucks and a starting cornerback from the Raiders. Pair that with Sutton. I know he's I know he struggled the second half of the season, but he's still a number two. So now we have three number twos corners on our team right now. We're gonna draft a guy in the first round. I know who knows where we draft this guy. So there's our four corners, and that's so much better than where what we had last year already. So it's it's an improvement. I know we want to have that number one corner just don't have them not many teams do really so he was a fourth round pick for the Raiders little used his first two years before logging 677 and then 675 wow look how close that was in the last two seasons during that stretch he flashed his ability to get his hands on the ball breaking up 15 and intercepting four so this is a this is a good veteran corner like I I don't know corner is a high, high commodity in football right now. We talked about it last video about how the Lions, or about the NFL, you get really good wide receivers, really good quarterbacks. Teams are throwing earlier. Um, excuse me, guys are throwing earlier um, than ever, right? I mean, back 20 years ago in high school, you just ran the ball all the time. Now everybody throws it. You throw it in college. There's that throwing and catching is just really a thing all throughout football. So you got to have guys to defend it, corner. It's, it's tough. It's a hard position. It's hard to find guys. So the Lions now have three number two corners. And before we had a 
number two in Sutton and a four in Vildor. So I'm curious to see who the Lions draft. That'll be really interesting. But in the meantime, hey, we're, we're in good shape. So there's still some there's still some big names out there. Um, Daniil Hunter is still out there. And uh, what was it DJ Reader, the defensive tackle? So those are two positions that are still available that the Lions have a need at. But I think if anything, the biggest need for the Lions is interior offensive line, specifically left guard where Jonah Jackson has left. And if you're going to have Jared Goff as your quarterback, then you need a great offensive line. If you've got a great offensive line, Jared Goff, man, he's awesome. And he can sit back there and make things happen. But when things get leaky and things and guys are getting through, whew, Goffy is scary because he has zero mobility. Um, and so he tries to escape naturally, tries to make things happen, try, and, 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 and nothing good happens. What happens is fumbles, interceptions, all kinds of bad things. So the offensive line, if that's intact, then the running game's there, right? It's just Brad Holmes said this the beginning of this offseason, the offensive line is the team. And I thought that was like, that's it. It is. It is the team because you have to you have to be able to run the ball and we have two really good running backs and you have to protect Jared Goff. If we do that, we've got good wide receivers. Like the whole thing works. But if you don't, then it doesn't. So I think the priority right now going into the rest of free agency and off, off season into the draft is that left guard spot. Do you trade for somebody? Is there somebody still out there that you can pick up? A lot of guards went yesterday in that first round of free agency now there's more free agents out there but man if you could just trade for a guy i mean i'm willing to give up picks we've got to nail that left guard spot and then in the draft we can address we can address backups we can address depth all that can can really go as needed but we we talked about this is like free agency is to fill holes you have to we, we do not have a left guard right now fill that hole fill the defensive tackle maybe another defensive end now kind of all the holes are filled. Brad Holmes has done a great job drafting. We've got talent. Then in the draft, you go and draft talent. And don't worry about picking up specific spots. But if you don't get a left guard, then in the draft, you absolutely have to. We don't have one. So then you're trying to reach and find and pick for need rather than for talent. So let me know your thoughts in the comments on this one. I love this pickup. It's a starting corner for cheap. It's starting cornerback. So we have now two more starting corners on our team i think it's a great play by the lions and brad holmes let me know your thoughts and we'll see all of you on the next one